I teach painting and drawing at Copa, University of New South Wales Art School. And I'm standing in front of a work made by Phoebe Rathmouth. She's a painting and drawing student and it doesn't look like painting and drawing. And this is a process of her working for three years. She worked on this work for six months and it still has some painting in it, even though it looks like sculpture. I think it's a fantastic work. The other work that we're standing in front of now is Marikit Santiago, who is a third year BFA student. One of the reasons I wanted us to have a look at this work is it's highly personal. It's about her relationship with the men in her life. And you can see from the erasure and some of the stuff that's in there, it's about conflicts. It's also not about love, it's also about anger. She came into the program as a former medical student who fell in love with painting, and hopefully she'll go on to honours, and you can see the talent. One of the things that Kofa does really, really well is that you can be cross-disciplinary. You can do what you want. We talked about a student who was in painting and drawing that made sculpture. Um, you can talk about someone like Marikette who formerly had a medical degree, and that makes her work more powerful and personal. She's got some life history. So at Kofi, you can be what you want to be, and you can see evidence of that in the exhibition here. Dominic Hindmarsh and Susan Thorne. They're the product of a mature age course called Masters by Coursework. They decided to get together and make collaborative work and they've had a show at the Mint at Barracks in Sydney. And what they've actually done is made a series of work about a lady in the early 20s who led her life as a criminal being a man. And the work's about masking and disguising and I think it's really interesting work that also deals with sewing, kind of domestic issues to do with femininity as well. This piece is by one of our honours students, Nathan Babette. He's uh, researching the uncanny and the spatiality of the piece is really important in terms of getting people to feel uneasy but at the same time referring to the childhood with a, a kind of um, almost cream cakey look to the, to the building but it's also quite sinister because it's twisty and maybe collapsing.